Let's move over to Kevin Durant because he returned to the Nets lineup yesterday after missing three games with that bruised left thigh. Katie came off the bench, which was kind of interesting. 33 points, six rebounds, four assists, two steals in 28 minutes. He shot 12-21 from the field, seven for eight from the foul line. After the game, he talked about the motivation for coming off the bench. It's only the third time in his career he's ever done it. Take a listen. Deal with it and adapt to the situation. Um, coach asked me today if I wanted to start or come off the bench, and uh, I felt like it would be a bigger challenge for me to focus in and lock in if I came off the bench. So I just wanted to see how that worked. And if I would have shot bad, I probably would have been pissed that I came off the bench, but I was able to knock down some shots. And uh, but it was a it was a solid exercise for me um, to ease back into the swing of things. I think this whole construction is so interesting because as someone who's a sideline reporter for a lot of games, I will ask coaches when guys have a minutes restriction, why don't you shift it more toward the end of the game? Don't you want them yeah. on the court at the end when it matters? And Steve Nash has really worked with Kevin a couple times now to come off the bench. Sean Marks, the GM, told me that Steve actually kind of picked that up from watching so much European soccer that when guys are on a minutes restriction, they play them more toward the end. But some coaches, they're reluctant to do it because they feel like guys have this pregame routine. They warm up and they're used to going at a certain time. So Richard, what do you think the Nets should do with Kevin Durant? and his workload the rest of this season. They got 11 games left. No, I'll say this. I did the first game that he came back after missing yeah. 25 games. And so we're, you know, we're talking during the game. And you're like, oh, he'll probably come in at the six minute mark. Or he'll probably start the second <laughs> quarter. Nope. All of a sudden it was like halfway through the second quarter. I was like, maybe he had something happen that it, ultimately I like what they're doing because so many times we see it where a guy all of a sudden can't play in the last eight minutes of a game. And you're like, and you see coaches look at the training staff back in the day when we played it would be like, uh, yeah, sit down. Right. Now the training staff are walking up and saying, get him out of the game. Right. It's a very different setup. But I think they're doing what's right. As long as Kevin Durant is happy, I actually kind of like it. You get, make them available for the second half latter part. I think some of the science was more of a guy does this long warm up. Right. Don't have him sit, sit down cold, for cold. 20 minutes, especially right. if it's soft tissue injury like, like a hamstring, mm -hmm. and then try and gear up in a game that's already moving. So, uh, But I like it. I think they're doing a great job. I think they're doing a fantastic job with the players nowadays because the science behind it is so much better when we mm -hmm. play. Mm -hmm. And when I was listening to Katie, you know how he said he says exercise. I'm like, dude, <laughs> exercise. He called this an exercise, man. Like this is just this is light 30. work for him. Man. Light that's work what for to, Kevin that's Durant. That's what you have to pick up on. And, and Kevin Durant is one of these athletes we we don't talk about, but he's one of the best players that ever played this game. Ever. And when he steps on the court, he makes it look so effortless and so easy. So when you sit back, you know, we both played the three spot. Yeah. He just makes you jealous, man. Like, really, dude? Yeah. Make, this is exercise to you. It's like you going out there, you scoring 33 off the bench because you wanted to challenge yourself. Okay, yeah. next time, do what Kobe Bryant do. Go out and shoot left hand. Man, challenge yourself right. that way. Well, and, yeah. and, and look, this, was made, this is what made Steph and Clay and him so dangerous, yes. is that Kevin Durant could be Steph Curry. He could, be, if he just wanted to only shoot threes mm -hmm. and try and knock down 10 threes multiple times, but he has so many more facets. That's how Steph Steph, that's Steph's weapon of choice. That right. is his best weapon. That's his go-to. Same with Clay. That three-point line mm -hmm. is their go-to weapon. Where Kevin Durant, he has the ability to go and finish, go and yes. dunk on you, go and do so many other things. But don't forget, he's seven feet tall and he's he can get his shot tall. off of yeah, anybody. Yeah, all that's all what the separates time. him from everybody. Because if you look at this today, today's game, it's three or nothing. He's a three. He's a dunk. He's, he's a, a mid range. He's, he's everything. A everything. Everything. So, everything. Yeah. And again, 33 points, six rebounds, four assists, two steals in 28 minutes. Yeah. Light that's, work, that's, that's, exercise. Yeah, yeah, exercise. Like. <laughs> and there we go. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.